Drew, Matt, from Black Iron Gym. We're here to uh, demonstrate the fast rope descent uh, and give you uh, a few tips so that you can effectively practice that and hopefully add it to your, to your repertoire. So I'll start by demoing one first. Nailed it. One thing that we do want to kind of clarify is that the speed rope ascent that we kind of went over is considered more of the you know competitor style of, of climbing a rope right now. Now that's why this descent works effectively. If you're someone who's still on the full leg wrap rope climb where you're still working on that all that extra friction right between your leg and you're sitting back and pulling up and levering you're gonna have a hard time getting back to what we're talking about and you need to probably think about switching to that fast ascent getting comfortable there then working on the fast descent that fast rope descent uh, can really uh, help and improve your cycle rate uh, especially for shorter athletes like me relative to Matt I'm not really able to use my as much body length climb up the rope. Uh, but what I can do is come down the rope um, consistently fast. Uh, moreover, with, with no really real eccentric. Oftentimes the most tiring part of, of rope climb is that slow negative arm over arm coming down. This fast rope descent helps us get rid of that uh, almost entirely. So I use a fast rope technique. Matt, I do the same. Kind of demo, so demo what, the we're same. Gonna, what we're going to talk about actually is mostly like once he's up, it's not about how he's going up. I mean, if you have the full leg wrap, it's going to be harder to do this. What you're going to want is that fast rope technique where he's wrapping around. And then I want you to watch his feet. He's going to go up just one pull. I'm going to kind of steady him in the frame. But see now, he's going to, from here, pick his knees up, change his feet around. Now, instead of being tucked underneath, he's stepping down on top of the rope with the same foot that was underneath originally. And that allows his weight to stay directly under him. His toes and the rope are aligned with his hips. He's going to lean forward as he lets go with his hands to then allow for a faster descent, but still in control over his own toes. It's almost as if he's, with the rope in between, he's trying to balance like this. It's, uh, it's effectively like a, a fireman's pole slider or something that you did um, you know, in, in grade or, or grammar school. Uh, you're feeling the rope uh, running loosely uh, between your hands, pinching more, pinching more so between the instep of your feet and your thighs. Uh, while you're getting used to it, it might be a good idea to have some type of three-quarter short long shorts underneath. Um, also make sure you're wearing long socks as well. Uh, when I'm teaching people the, that fast uh, descent technique, I'll have them start by just going up one or two pulls halfway up the rope, whatever it may be, and get comfortable um, relaxing their grip, relaxing that instep, uh, so they can feel that sensation of coming down quickly, but still under control. So I'll, I'll go up for, for one pull. Mm -hmm. Matt, again, you can steady me. Yeah. And I use the fast rope technique. Now he's two facing, pulls up the rope. He's facing the camera. You can watch his feet switch around, but tucks himself underneath. His heels are underneath his butt. Let's go. Stays tall, comes down. So there's no eccentric loading of his upper body, and it's actually completely with the friction between the foot and shin or top of the shoe, and then the squeezing of your thigh. How tight he squeezes here dictates the speed at which he descends. So give it a shot. Practice first by um, really starting first on the ground, getting comfortable, uh, switching that foot lock from a fast rope technique or a foot wrap to bringing your opposite foot around, pinching the rope between your top and bottom foot, get comfortable there from the floor. Then, as we just showed, work on one or two pulls up, getting halfway up the rope, again, securing that foot lock and feeling that sensation of the rope running between your instep, loosely from your hands. Um, and then, as Matt just mentioned, applying that break, pinching the instep together, thighs and the hands. Uh, again, tag us, Black Iron Gym uh, NV. Let us know how these tips and drills work for you, and we'll see you next time.